welcome to the Dynamite Explorers program. Uh, each week, we're going to talk and learn more about a different dinosaur. We're going to talk about when and where they lived, when they were discovered, some of their notable physical features, uh, their diet, which means what they ate, and so much more. Um, for this first week, though, we're going to talk about all the basics of dinosaurs. So you'll have all you need to know uh, when we talk about individual dinosaurs in more detail. Um, this week's program will be a little bit longer than the other ones coming up. Um, but we want to make sure that we get all the history and the background of the dinosaurs out before we start to talk about them. So first question, what are dinosaurs anyways? And dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that first appeared over 200 million years ago. And dinosaurs are what scientists call manophyletic, which means that every member of this group came from one single common ancestor. So this means that when dinosaurs first roamed the earth, there were originally, there was only one, there's only one dinosaur, but over time there became many different kinds of dinosaurs. And when did the dinosaurs live? Well, dinosaurs lived during a time called the Mesozoic era, which started 252 million years ago, and it ended 66 million years ago. And in this era, there were three distinct time periods. There was the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. Now, we're gonna look at a chart of the different geologic times on Earth. And what you're gonna see here is a time called Precambian time with all the arrows pointing at it. Um, and this was the time when Earth was formed over four and a half billion years ago, all the way up until the Paleozoic era started about 541 million years ago. And this time with all the arrows pointing at it, this actually makes up seven eighths of all the time that Earth has existed. So all the period of time where the arrows are not pointing at it, that's only one eighth of the time that Earth has even been around. So this is the most period of time. And during this time, the only living creatures on Earth were organisms. So the teeny tiny little organisms that we can't even see, those are the only things that existed on Earth during this time. But next, you'll see the arrows, they're gonna point at the Paleozoic era, which is right here. And it's this little, little bit of time right here. Um, and this started about 541 million years ago and it ended 252 million years ago with the start of the Mesozoic era. And during this time, marine life, so all kinds of plants and animals in the ocean, began to spread all over the earth. So all different kinds of animals and reptiles and amphibians and plants grew in the ocean. Um, and this was also the time that oxygen started to form in the atmosphere and plants began to grow on land. And then next we have the Mesozoic era, which you see right here. And this is the time of the dinosaurs and the continued growth of land and species in the oceans. Um, and this is the primary time period that we're gonna be talking about during this program, but I wanted you guys to see how little amount of time it actually was that dinosaurs were on the earth, even though it seems like a really long time ago. And then the final era is the Cenozoic era, and that's the time that we are living in right now. And it started 66 million years ago, and it goes all the way up until today. And it's just this little sliver of orange that you see right here at the end. That's the period we're living in right now. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the Mesozoic era in more detail. And don't worry if this is too confusing or hard to follow. We're just going to reference this chart later on in programs. Um, so we're going to show exactly the time period when the dinosaurs lived. But we are going to talk about the breakdown of it right now. Um, and we're just going to talk about how to read the chart. So you are going to start in the bottom right hand corner at this blue star down here on the bottom. And you're going to follow this darkest green arrow all the way up. So this is the start of the Mesozoic era, and we start in the Triassic period. And it goes from 252 million years ago all the way up until 201 million years ago. So you move all the way up and then you move over here to the Jurassic period. And you follow this like medium green colored arrow, just the same way going all the way up. So this period, the Jurassic period was 201 million years ago all the way to 145 million years ago. And then finally, we reach this column over here on the left, and you start at the bottom with this light green arrow at 145 million years ago, and you move all the way up to the top. 
and it ends at 66 million years ago and you end here at this yellow star over in the corner. Now, so that's how we have the Mesozoic era. We start 252 million years ago, we move all the way to 66 million years ago. So when, where did the dinosaurs live? We already talked about when, but where did they live? So dinosaurs lived in every climate all over the world. But when dinosaurs roamed the earth, the world looked really different than it does today. So about 250 million years ago, there was one huge continent and it was called Pangea. Um, and then at the beginning of the Triassic period, an ocean called the Tathys Ocean made its way through, and you can see it right here, the Tathys Ocean. It made its way through Pangea and it split the supercontinent into two different continents. Um, and it created these two new continents called Laurasia, which is right here, and Gondwana land. And dinosaurs thrived during this period and new plants began to grow all over the planet. Um, and you can see here, the continents just continued to shift and break apart. Um, and this all happened during the Jurassic period. And then towards the end of the period, they really began to split and move further and further apart. Um, and then we have the Cretaceous period. And during the Cretaceous period, the continents continued to break more and they began to drift further and further apart. Um, and Earth, as we know it now, was starting to take shape with the seven continents beginning to form. And today, our planet is divided into seven continents. Um, so we have North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica, and, um, and Europe. And um, we have these seven main continents, but we have hundreds of different countries within the continents. Um, and we live on the continent of North America in the country of the United States of America, in the state of Texas and in the city of Waco. And you can see the arrows here are pointing towards North America and towards Texas, where we live. Now, here's a good question. Could we have lived with the dinosaurs? That's what everybody always wants to know. And the answer is that Earth was very different than it is today. So it would have been almost impossible for humans to live during the time of the dinosaurs. Humans need oxygen to breathe and the atmosphere was filled with much more carbon dioxide and that's poisonous to human in large amounts. So we probably wouldn't have been able to breathe very well even if we did live on earth at the same time as the dinosaurs. Um, and even if we could have, we probably wouldn't have wanted to. Humans probably would have been eaten by the dinosaurs and we probably wouldn't have made it very far. So how many different kinds of dinosaurs are there? And what did they look like? Well, dinosaurs came in all different shapes and sizes, as you can see in this picture here. Um, they had many different features, um, including horns, scales, armor, tail clubs, plates, spikes, long necks, and huge teeth. We'll talk about that more in detail, but dinosaurs had really giant teeth and they had a lot of them. And dinosaurs can be grouped into five main categories, marginocephalia, ornithopoda, sauropoda, theropoda, and thyreophora. Now, theropoda, the theropods, um, is the first category of dinosaurs. And they had sharp teeth and claws, and they walked on two legs. So you'll see here, the dinosaurs are walking on two legs. And this group also included the mighty Tyrannosaurus, which most of you are probably familiar with, as well as all the flying dinosaurs. The flying dinosaurs are in a group called pterosaurs, and they're a little bit different. So this is one of the dinosaurs that's a flying dinosaur. And we'll talk about him in more detail later on. Um, but you'll see he looks a little bit different than a lot of the other dinosaurs in this group. Um, and these dinosaurs grew feathers and were well known for their really big brains and their advanced behaviors. Then we have a uh, sauropoda and the sauropoda morphs had really long necks and tails and they had massive bodies. They were the largest creatures to ever walk the planet. Next, we have uh, Thyreophora and Thyreophorans had really thick bony armor that protected them. Um, and they also really had spiky tails and spikes on their bodies. So you'll notice on a lot of the dinosaurs in this group, you see all the different spikes that go all the way along their back and they're really sharp and heavy tails that were helped to protect them. And then we have ornithopods, um, part of the 
uh, ornithopoda group and they were plant eating dinosaurs. Um, and they often had duck like beaks and really strangely shaped heads. So you can see here, they all have these really funny looking heads and they all look a little bit like ducks. And then we have uh, marginocephalia and the marginocephalians ate plants. So, so these were all plant eating dinosaurs and they all had very hard skulls that they used for their defense. So this dinosaur might look familiar to a lot of you guys, the triceratops and dinosaurs in this group were a lot like this one. Now, one notable quality about every single dinosaur was that every one of them had a tail. Um, now, just in the same way that humans have opposable thumbs and that we developed millions of years ago, dinosaurs had tails for many different reasons. And while some of them used them for defense, tails also helped dinosaurs keep their balance so they wouldn't just fall over. So picture a Tyrannosaurus rex, like a really giant dinosaur. But if he didn't have a tail, his, since his head was so big and he was so heavy, he probably would have just tipped right over. So the tails helped keep them balanced so they didn't just fall over. Now, you're probably wondering what happened to the dinosaurs. Why aren't they here anymore? And about 66 million years ago, an asteroid hit Earth and it wiped out about 70% of all the things that were living, plants, animals, everything. And two main things happened when the asteroid hit the Earth. First, when, the, when it hit, the um, asteroid caused a lot of fires to happen all over the planet and it destroyed the vegetation, like the trees and the plants. So the plant eating dinosaurs lost all of their food um, and eventually this meant that they died out. And so then the meat eating dinosaurs who ate the other dinosaurs, they didn't have any other food. Um, and the second thing that happened is when it hit, when the asteroid hit the earth, so much dust came up off the earth um, and from the ground of the force of the asteroid hitting that all the dust actually blocked out all of the sunlight. Um, and this likely led to the death of many of the different plants on earth. And this period is what scientists refer to as a mass extinction. And that means that about three out of four things living on the planet died out in a relatively short period of time. So dinosaurs went extinct. How were they discovered? This was millions of years ago. So what happened? All right, well about 350 years ago in 1676, a man named Robert Plott, and you see his picture right here, he was head of a museum in Oxford, England, and he published a note on a bone that had been given to him. So someone gave him a bone and he decided to write a book about it. And it turns out that this was the very first recorded discovery of the dinosaurs. And it's really likely that there were dinosaur bones that were found before this time, but this is really considered to be the first modern discovery of the dinosaurs. About 150 years after that, in 1824, dinosaur fossils were discovered in the southern part of England by a man named William Buckland. And you can see his picture here, and he's actually holding a fossil. Um, and the fossils that he found were, they concluded that they were all part of this one reptile, and it was a really giant reptile. And so he decided to name the reptile Megalosaurus, and he would write a full account of this dinosaur and it is considered to be one of the first full accounts of the dinosaurs that we know of. And then after that, after the discovery of these fossils, really close in this time range, there was a scientist who studied fossils and dinosaurs and his name was Sir Richard Owen. You can see his picture here. And he concluded that all the fossils that have been found up until this point belong to one single group. And he called this group Dinosauria. Um, and the word comes from the Greek language and it means terrible, wonderful, powerful lizard. So what do scientists study today? Well, in 2020, the group of scientists who study dinosaurs and fossils are called paleontologists. And the study of fossils is called paleontology. Now in the last 200 years, hundreds of thousands of dinosaur fossils have been found all over the world. And scientists use this information that they find with these fossils every single day to learn more about the dinosaurs. And you can see here, this is a group of scientists who are actually excavating the fossils, which means that they're taking them out of the ground. All right, so next time, you've got your whole background now 
on the dinosaurs. So we'll jump right into talking about one specific dinosaur next week. And we're gonna start off with one of the biggest, baddest, and fearsome dinosaurs that ever walked the planet Earth. I bet you can guess what it is. Next week, we're gonna talk about the king of the dinosaur world, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.